Well, it's, today's um, the 29th, Sunday, the 29th of January, I think it is. Um, and it's been about four and a half months since I lost my FPV plane, my YC-14, up in the tree with GoPro and all that stuff. And uh, this morning I went back out to attempt to get it back down with a couple of uh, good friends. And I'm happy to say that I finally got the plane down, uh, or most of it anyway. Here it is. Um, I was able to retrieve the fuselage, which is uh, the most important part to me. I wasn't able to get the wing out, but that's okay because that's really what I was interested in. My FPV camera on the bottom down here and my GoPro, which I am so happy to finally get back after four and a half months up in the top of a tree. Surprisingly, this plane is in pretty darn good condition, uh, considering it's been through basically hurricane force winds and on a number of occasions, storms, um, sun beating down on it, you name it, it's been through it. And uh, it's held up fairly well. Now, my RD820 receiver is still in there and I would venture to say that more than likely it's probably still going to work I hope anyway we'll see I got two of my three lipos back a, a 3S3000 and this is about a 1200 milliamp hour battery obviously destroyed one of the motors I got back which still spins nicely and I would say probably still in good condition. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and who knows, that may fly again. Um, only the tail servo because the other ones are in the wings, but it still feels like it's uh, pretty good. So I think that might work. And uh, the good old GoPro. Um, now I've checked the video and unfortunately because the battery died once the plane got stuck up in the tree the video was corrupted and uh, I was able to retrieve most of it but the the actual probably the last 45 seconds of the crash or, or the last 45 started to 45 seconds was not retrievable so I do not have the GoPro video of the crash unfortunately but I am happy to get the plane back with the cameras so still up in the tree is the wing with uh, one motor two speed controls and um, one and a half watt 800 megahertz video transmitter those items I'm not concerned about I was really just wanting the um, the two cameras off the nose here surprisingly good shape um, like I said, this one was in the waterproof housing, so no problem at all. It's still like brand new. This one was sealed in a little box with packing tape. Uh, the only thing that was exposed was the, the lens, and it still looks to be in splendid condition. I'm sure that camera will work fine. So, yeah, four and a half months and finally got it back it's amazing um, I had faith that I would at some point and um, so yeah made my weekend <laughs>